Hi guys, I'm making a tuna noodle casserole. I've got water boiling for my noodles. I'm gonna use this egg noodles. I'm gonna, it's already salted water. You wanna add some salty water. Add your noodles, stir them. It doesn't take very long, guys. Maybe five to eight minutes. So let me get them stirred. I have a pan that's buttered right there. It's a baking dish. You're going to bake this off at 350 until this is golden brown and um, bubbly. <coughs> Sorry. I have a pot. I'm going to add one can of cream of chicken, one can of cream of mushroom, and I'll bring you that. I are starting to come up. We're going to get them cooked. We got the cream of chicken, cream of mushroom soup in here. We're going to give that a stir. We're going to add a quarter of an onion. It's already diced. We're going to add some frozen celery. You can use fresh celery. That's not what I have. I'm going to add three, a half a cup of milk just to make a sauce. Okay, I'm going to add my quarter of my onion. And that's all diced and I have frozen celery it's in a block but I'm sure I can get some off of it so I'm gonna add my celery and I'll bring you back okay you can see the frozen celery in there I'm giving my noodles a stir okay now to this I want to add two tablespoons heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise And I'm sorry, my haul's right there. I haven't had a chance to do it. So I'm just gonna stir that in. I'm gonna add some black pepper. You don't need no salt because you got salt in the noodles. You can re-season when it's time to eat. I'm going to add my tuna fish, which is drained. And I'm gonna use this colander to um, drain my noodles. So anyways, to that, I'm going to add um, like a good handful of sharp cheddar. I don't use the stuff that's got wood pulp in it because all the cheeses that are um, in the bag have wood pulp. So I like to grate my own. And I'll get the rest of this off camera. So I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to put in some black pepper. All that's going to melt and combine. So I'm going to add some black pepper. And we're gonna cook our noodles and I'll bring you back and I'll put this together. Okay, my noodles are done, they're drained. I got my mixture together. I'm gonna to pour this on here. You can add another layer of cheese. You can add some breadcrumbs. You can add some peas if you'd like. I'm gonna bake this off at 350 until this is bubble, bubbly, golden, and tender. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to serve. Okay, I wanted to bring you guys back because I'm gonna be adding some panko. And I'm just gonna put a lightly coated top. And I usually put cheese on this, but I already put cheese inside of it. And I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil. I'm going to bake this when I get back. I'm going out for the day. So I'm going to bake this when I get back. I'm going to put it in 350 for approximately 20 minutes to 25 minutes. So I'll catch you guys when I come back. Well, guys, the next day, this was already almost gone, but I wanted to give you a picture of how it looked. This was baked off with breadcrumbs, and it turned out amazing. So thanks for joining. Have a great day, and talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.